All right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the Montiel Verse. Good to have you here again. It is time for my WWE fans to get shown some love. I mean, as we know, WWE always goes up and down, no matter what year it is, no matter what time we're in. But uh, I wanted to take a look at what Bleacher Report thinks about some superstars, uh, whether they should turn heel or face in the year 2022. I mean, because, I mean, there are some characters out there that are just, they've had their time, I think, as the role that they're playing in. For example, Seth Rollins. Like, I mean, I, I like his whole visionary thing. You know, it's very different from what he's done in the past. It's very different from current characters that we're seeing here today. But I feel like it's getting a little stale. I feel like in about five months, I'm really going to get sick and tired of what he's doing. I don't know, it's just me personally. I hope I don't feel that way. I mean, I've always loved The Shield, Roman Reigns, Dean Ambrose, Seth Rollins, all three of them. Dean Ambrose is now John Moxley in AEW, I am aware. I mean, I get, just to get this off the record, I got no problem with AEW at all. I mean, I'm a wrestling fan. I like wrestling. If you got something good, very happy to see it. But today, we're going to talk about WWE and what Bleacher Report thinks about some superstars needing to turn or having to change in their career. So let's take a look. All right. So Randy Orton should turn heel. I feel like I agree with this. I feel like I've had enough of the whole bro thing. He needs to go back to being that badass heel that we all know he is. Every time Randy Orton laces up a pair of boots and plays a heel character, it's something to watch. RK bro is great. Like you know, the article says, but I feel like, it's 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 had its day, you know what I mean? Like it's the same thing. I'm like I'm glad they're breaking up AJ Styles and almost because it's 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 too much. Nobody cares. I mean, like we get it, and I'm tired of seeing RK Bro against uh AJ Styles and almost. It's the same thing. It was recycled so many times. And it's like, dude, you're in competition with AEW now. Um there's other wrestling promotions out there that are trying to get the upper hand on you. We need new ideas. I mean, I love WWE, but I'll be the first guy to say that they were using too much. But yeah, a heel Orton should go against uh, a babyface Riddle at WrestleMania 38. It'll solidify Riddle as somebody who can stand on his own and be a future Intercontinental Champion, United States Champion, something like that. And it'll just be another great storyline for us to remember about randy orton naomi should turn heel yes finally somebody says this i i thought she would have joined the bloodline given the fact that her husband is jimmy uso who is with the bloodline and just the way sonia deville's been treating her over the past several months like i thought she'd be fed up by now and turn heel and just really go off on these people but i guess not but this needs to happen. I completely agree with this. Naomi should turn heel. She should join the bloodline, represent the bloodline in the women's division. And well, I guarantee you that Roman Reigns will not have a problem with this at all. And it'll make the storyline even better. So, yeah. Dominic Mysterio should turn heel. I know my family would hate me for saying this, but it's true. I would love to see father against son. Just with the whole uh, storyline of Dominic thinking that Rey Mysterio is just is, is, is too much on him. Like, he's not letting him breathe. He's not letting him be in his own person. He's not letting him handle things his way. And I think this is a great setup. I would love to see Dominic as a heel against his father. And then take off as a singles competitor. Because I think Dominic has some potential. I'll give him a year or two and he can possibly be a United States champion. Something like that. I mean, this is a this is a guy who comes from a legacy of great wrestlers. And he needs to have his time. He needs to have his day. And I think we've had our fill of, you know, him being the son of Rey Mysterio. He needs to be Dominic Mysterio. And I wouldn't mind him, you know, masking up in some sort of heel luchador mask against his father. It needs to happen. I feel like they're completely right on this. Rhea Ripley should turn heel. I don't know about this one, honestly. We've seen her as a heel, and honestly, it's good, but like, I kind of like her as a face right now. I like her going against uh, Carmella and Zelina Vega, and I like her going against even even like Charlotte, even at SummerSlam. I mean, I don't think I've ever considered her much of a, a heel this year, maybe 
prior to WrestleMania. But I like Rhea Ripley as a face. I don't see why. Let's see what it says. Uh, yeah, it, 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 like I was saying, it can be argued that because she's not a heel and nobody has much easier time pushing a villain than a babyface who goes by the nickname The Nightmare. Her biggest success came at WrestleMania when she was playing heel against Asuka. Then WWE probably ignored her as a cha- even as a champion in favor of heel Charlotte Flair. Yeah, that's another thing. They didn't start pushing Charlotte Flair. I f- we all had enough of Charlotte Flair. They're basically making her into the female Ric Flair. And to be honest, I've never been a huge fan of Ric Flair or Sh- Charlotte. But yeah, no, I, I disagree. Um, Rhea Ripley's doing fine, in my opinion. I don't think we need to have a whole Rhea Ripley against Nikki Ash storyline. And I would love for Raquel to be uh, called up, but ah, I disagree. Ellie Knight should turn heel. Uh, I can get behind that with this whole gimmick. Um, some people are natural heels or baby faces. Now that's case. There's a smugness to him that doesn't come across as well when he's supposed to be cheered. <clears throat> yeah, I agree with that. He could be a great heel. He's one of those guys where you just get pissed off by looking at him. And from whether he walks to the ring, his style, his smugness, as I just stated. Yeah. So far as this highlight has been the million dollar championship feud with Cameron Crime Grimes. Yeah, no, that was good. The matches, I think, were good. I think the storyline was solid. I feel like... I don't pay much attention to LA Knight, but I feel like he could do something as a heel. I agree. That smugness, that, that his uh, his mic skills, the, from the way that he acts, I feel like, yeah, he could be a very annoying heel. Bailey should turn babyface. I think so. And maybe this isn't a popular opinion, but I think she should turn babyface. I, I think I've had my fill with the whole... She did great as a heel. I'm... I'm Glad that people are starting to realize that Bailey is not just the one that's left in the dust out of the four horsewomen. But yeah, she deserves her credit. I've always liked Bailey. I've liked Becky. I've liked Bailey. I like I like Sasha. I've never liked Charlotte. But yeah, Bailey did great as a heel. She was very annoying. She was very uh what's the word? She's, a, she's annoying, but she's also very charismatic. Like, you would pay attention to what she was saying with the ding-dong, hello. I, that, that was funny. Um, but, yeah, it's it's time to, like, it's time. We need, a, we need a change. I feel like we need to have her as a face again. I feel like her time as a heel is coming to an end, and it, and it, and it should be. Ah, right, jeez. Mace and Wartivar should turn baby face. To be honest with you, Retribution was a huge letdown. They start with these guys raiding WWE with chainsaws and just a whole group. Then we realize it's run by Mustafa Ali. These are the main five with Mia. With, uh, Mia. And uh, it's, it's just so, it just sucks. And I'm not a big fan of uh, Mace or T-Var. I really can care less about them. I mean, if we're going by releases, I feel like John Morrison didn't deserve to get released. I'd rather release these two knuckleheads, but, you know, it is what it is. I will give credit to T-Bar for um, that match with Damian Priest uh, about, like, six weeks ago. That was a hell of a match. I love that Extreme Rules match. Damian Priest is doing awesome. I'm glad he's getting a push. I've always liked Damian Priest, and he's just bringing the U.S. title up to another level. He's bringing credibility to his character and back to the United States Championship. Dakota Kai should turn babyface. I mean, why not? I mean, her heel run is whatever. It's not all that. And again, yeah, her per- her split personality angle. It, yeah, it might work great as a babyface. She seems like she'd play a, a face better than a heel. But, uh, yeah. I'm mostly concerned about what uh, Randy Orton and... Bailey and and people like that that actually do I think need to be uh switched around and I don't know because I mean everybody knows I mean as much as I love Randy Orton as a face he works better as a heel that's just the universal known fact and Bailey I miss her being as a uh, a face I miss I miss that I miss that Bailey um but yeah Alexa Bliss. Needs to go back to being the goddess. I don't care what anybody says. This is ridiculous now. I'm glad that she's having fun playing this character. And I'm glad that she enjoyed playing this character. But I feel like she needs to go back to that. 
that uh, that mean girl, that goddess that we all know that she is. That's just me personally. Let me know what you guys think. Thanks for stopping by here at the Montelverse. I will catch you guys in the next video. Like, share, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one.